Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. Now today's video is one of my back to basics and we've got some key things we're going to be doing today. We're going to be getting some new items, the loom, changing the hood and a boat as well. So let's get on over to the game and do some basic admin. Well, welcome to my farm. You'll see Alfred the Postman has arrived. There's Tom down there with another balloon. I've already popped one balloon, which is wonderful. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Alfred's probably delivering some information about the latest update. There's toolboxes, there's items to be collected from the machines, and there's space just over the back there for a little bit more of an expansion in relation to new machines that I've got within the game. Right, well this is Tom. As you know, Tom's available regularly. You can wake him up and he will collect items for you. Now personally, I don't really need him at this level because there's not really much that I do need at this moment in time. However, if you do want to hire Tom, he's very useful, especially if you get him during the discount periods. If you're on holiday, you've got plenty of time, then those 10 days and 5 days can be very nice indeed. But remember, Tom does sleep and it's 2 hours. Now at my stage of the game, I don't really have the boosters, so I can't even speed him up at the moment. So for me, it's not really worth it. But I do like Tom in relation to the actual offer that he does give because he has a little balloon. Once the balloon is released, I can pop that and claim diamonds or some other kind of reward. And it's kind of cool on that side. Now the World of Fortune truck has arrived. We're going to spin that and fingers crossed I get something wonderful like an apple. Yay, look at that. I do like apples. Eh, however, something else on there would have been much better probably. Right, there's mail to be collected and there's gift certificates. I've got 20 there. We can claim a new box. Now, if I try to claim a box, you'll see that I can't because it's greyed out. This is using indication that there is something at your house that needs to be opened and claimed first. Well, you saw Alfred make the delivery earlier. That's that box down there. We go and open it. It says, welcome, welcome, welcome. And there's some diamonds for you for updating to the new version. Yay, I like that one. Diamonds are always good and free is wonderful. Right, now I've claimed it, I can go back down there, spend those gift certificates, and I can get the box, and you'll see that it's actually allowing me to order. What will it be? I don't know. Fingers crossed it's some expansion items. Uh, if I can use them, I will. If not, I will sell them. Now, at the moment, my event board says there is a town visitor. Now, because of my level, I'm still too low, so I can't actually participate in this one. There are some nice events up and coming very soon. There's a wonderful fishing event. Uh, again, for this farm, I can't really do much uh, for it because I need to level up a lot more. Now, one feature I'm going to get today relates to the boat and also to changing my hood as well. You'll see here that I've been the best toilets. It's not such an active team there. People have been promoted. They've been removed. Uh, it's a very casual place to be, but uh, you can see there's not much there in relation to chatting. Now, I'm not much of a player with this farm, so I think it's unfair for me to take up a space, and I'm actually going to be leaving, and that's very easy. All I need to do is to just press the leave button, and basically I'm gone. So all of you guys in there, uh, it's been a pleasure to participate with you, but I'm afraid I feel that I'm taking up a space that could be better used for more active team members so I will be leaving that one a little bit later once I do leave okay I then need to recreate a brand new hood as well so let's show you how to do that one so you're in a neighborhood at the moment there's the red button at the bottom if I click on that red button it says are you sure now uh, so that's fine it tells me I won't be able to participate to in a derby till next week but that's okay I'm not of a high enough level yet anyway the actual crow disappears because it's not connecting me to my other hoodies. And you can now see there that there's nothing there remaining. And I'm by myself. I don't even have any status at the moment. Now, if I wanted to, I could join another team from my friends down there, which is recommended. Uh, I can even search on some people. Or what I can do is create one. And that's what I'm going to do at the moment. Now, this is going to be my fourth hood as such, and this will be one of my own one. I'm going to call this one a back to basics, okay, because I'm literally just using this one uh, for videos, and I won't be here all of the time. So requesting to join this one's probably not a good idea. Uh, you're welcome to, but I can't guarantee that I will accept you. 
Now, the most challenging thing I think with actually setting up a hood is choosing the icon. There were so many colors down there, so many shapes. Now, I kind of like what we've got there, but I would like to see some more options in colors as well. Uh, maybe instead of having an icon, a flag would be wonderful. I'd love to have a, a Union Jack down there instead. Uh, I'd love to have maybe the Japanese flag. That could also be very nice indeed. Uh, or maybe combo flags. So as an example, like uh, I live in Japan, I'm British, uh, half and half style would be great. So hey, Dick, if you could at some stage in the future, give us the ability to modify and change the neighborhood house. I'd actually like to see this section updated. Uh, I'd like to be able to change hood names. Uh, I'd like to be able to change the colors and the logos and things like that. Now at the moment within the game, once you've set up a hood, you can't really change everything you have to like delete it and redo it again but if you delete it then you lose your status and position and your ranking etc 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 so there are downsides to that now I'm calling this one the back to basics uh, which is kind of cool uh, in itself but at the end of the day when it comes to me progressing this farm into a much much higher level farm uh, maybe back to basics is not going to be the best name but it's still my back to basic video, so it won't matter too much. Right. So there we go. Description down here. Logo has been chosen. So my fourth home. Yay. I like that. Just four oh, bits. And that's basically all it is. Preferred language, English. I'm going to put it to invite only, leave it at 10. I'm going to share the Derby task log, of course. Yeah. And I think for tags, I'll just put down it's a quiet place. There are quite a few other options down there, but uh, like I said, this one's very, very quiet. Now, it's not really chatty. It's not very active. Okay, I do play the town when I get it. I might do the helpers. I may do the casual Derby. But at this moment, not important. 500 coins to create it. And there we go. Yay, we've got it. And we've got our own hood now. Very nice indeed. I like it. Yep, I really, really do. Yay, lovely, 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 beautiful. And I've got my crow, so my very, very own crow. Now, I can't do anything else there at the moment until much, much later. So let's go do some basic. We've got a balloon to pop, so Tom has released his balloon, and we get a diamond. Yay, that's cool. I like Tom. Um, he's a nice little character. I just wish that his nap time were a little bit different. Right, collecting from my machines. Now, I'm in need of a new machine. I really, really am. I've got the option to add in a loom. I've also got some other items I can add in as well. There's the dock at the back to be opened up as well. There's new farmland to be done in a moment. Uh, I don't really have any new trees. I'm only up to the ability or level to be able to add apple trees, as you can see down there in the bottom. I could add in more animal pens, but at this moment in the game, I don't really need them. Now, they would be nice, I suppose, if I wanted to get more eggs or more of some of the other products, but you know, I'm not really yet interested in expanding too much. Uh, I think I have enough to keep me going and satisfy my needs. Right, now, most of the products have now been collected, which is wonderful. I like that one. Uh, we need to... Oh, I've got too many of my chicken feed. That's way too many. I think we'll sell some of those. I've also got some mine items down there that I don't need at this moment in time, so I'm going to sell some of those as well. Uh, for me, at this stage of the game, the mine's not open. I could use these pieces to, like, remove rocks or chop down trees, etc., blow up things, uh, dig up the dirty water, but it's not necessary. So why keep them and take up the storage? I'm just going to sell them. All right, we've got some bolts down there, which again, very, very useful. I can use that to upgrade. And if I look at my storage down there, you'll see I've got more tape than I need and not enough of the planks and the other pieces. So I actually have too many tapes there. Now, again, I'm of the level or idea of this level that if I don't need it, then I'm going to sell it because it will give me money. It would also encourage people to follow me or friend me. Uh, and then maybe they might do my boats or they may do my trucks at the same time. Uh, additionally as well, it does give me a lot of coins, which is also very beneficial. Now, you can keep these items if you wanted to, but it does take up storage. Uh, and at our level or 
a lower level like this, storage is definitely a limitation. So try not to overload yourself. Uh, some people often say to me, okay, which do you upgrade first? Well, I tend to go with just trying to do one, then the other, one, then the other but I get rid of what I don't need and I just keep the basic amounts there. If I find I've got no storage space, then I tend to pick and choose at this level. Right, we can load up some of the machines. I get some popcorn down there. Okay, I think I'll do some of the cornbread this time. Now, this could be a mistake because I could open up the boat in a moment. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't actually stop me from being able to do any crates, but we will see. Maybe I should have done that first. Now, I've run out of eggs. I've got to wait to eggs. Uh, I could go buy some, but uh, it's okay. I will hold off for the moment. Not a problem indeed. We've got wheat down there to be done. Let's go request on some of these. There's some high pointers down there and low pointers. Now, I am in a neighborhood, so I can request help if I wanted to, but I'm by myself, so it's kind of pointless on that one. So requesting the additional item for support uh, when there's nobody down there to actually do it is not really that beneficial, at least not yet. Right, a locked crate. Tom can go back to sleep. I don't need him. Thank you very much. And there is my dock. Right, my dock needs opening. Once I do that, Mr. Wicker will appear. I'm now a level 17, working towards 18. 18 will give me more animal pens and new crops, which is kind of exciting. But at the moment, this needs to be done. And look at that. Yay, there's Mr. Wicker. And here comes my boat. Oh my god! Yes, indeed, I am now a brand new product provider for the global community. I can do boats, which means I can start working on the boat leaderboard and maybe get into first place in the global board. <laughs> no chance. I'd need at least like 18 million. And at the moment, I've got zero. Now, how many of those crates can I do, I wonder? Well, let's go and tap on the boat and find out. We've got items for the loom, there's bread and there's bacon. Now, what I can do is request. So, I don't actually have the loom at the moment, so I'm going to request those products. If I look over here, like, no, I don't have it. So, how long would that take to produce and to build, I wonder? Well, to build it, there's the loom down there. I've got the money now, which is wonderful. And that's going to take me one day. Hmm. Don't have the diamonds, not going to speed it up, so that's only there for the next 12 hours, so let's request on those items. We've got bacon down there next, so I can do five of those because I collected. The rest I can wait, or maybe I can ask for help on. I think I'm going to ask for help on the bacon. There's bread as well, which is relatively easy to do, but as I said earlier, I think maybe loading up the cornbread might have been a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. You know, there is no rush and no hurry, and this could be my first boat. Yay! So we request for help on the bacon. Now, I do have some friends down there that need to be added to my bar. So maybe some of those will see when I request the help and they will come and help me. Or I've got items in my roadside shop that I could sell. And maybe when people buy those items, they might see that I need some more help and come and do those as well. Right, well, there I am. I'm on the boat leaderboard now with all of my friends. Nudie is currently in 18 million at the moment, so she's in number one, and I've got zero. If I slide on down there, BDR is in third. I've got uh, Redder in fourth as well. If I look over there as well, I've got quite a few of my friends there. Now, just because you might be a higher level player doesn't mean you're going to be number one in the global boat board. So, ranking in the game and boat ranking are not the same. They are a little bit different. But look at that one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, they have done so many. And there I am, not even on the board at the moment. So you'll see I have a little line, which means I'm not even placed at this moment in time. So many to do. So three requested, three requested. We've got orders requested as well, and we've got items down in storage. So, hmm. Okay, I can do that one. That'd be good. Yeah, okay. I think we are trash that one. Let's trash that one too. I'm not going to wait on that one. And I'll trash that one as well. Right, now, uh, ow, it reset, so that shouldn't happen. Ah, bug in the game. Right, let's go request some help on these ones. So people can buy these, which is good. So there we go, create advertisement. They all sell very quickly, giving me a lot of money as well. People will then see that I need some help and will help me out, which is even more wonderful. Right, now I've got some new friend requests down there. Let's go down and add those. So you can see there I've got 141 of 250. And I'm going to add everybody that's down there. But I'm also going to be blocking someone. 
Now, as a YouTuber, uh, as a content creator, I'm afraid there are the occasional trolls or obnoxious person in the community. Uh, and we do block quite a lot of them. And I do wish that Heyday would give us the option to permanently block, just not temporarily. So I can block this person that I'm about to have down at the bottom, uh, one of the lower ranking ones here. Uh, but once the block has cleared off, they can then add me back again and again and again. Now, sometimes if the name is too obnoxious, I do in-game report it to the support team and then they ban the farm, uh, which is very nice. And I've already done that a few times. So there we go, that stupid Ricky's beautiful beard. Uh, if I ever find out who it is, I'm going to ban you from all of my channels. I really am, because you're a twit. Uh, and that's putting it mildly. So let's go have a look. And we go visit. Can I find any information down there? No. You're too cowardly to even put your logo or information on there. So there we go. Right, let's show you how to block everybody. So we just collect the source since I'm there. Uh, we come back down to the bar. Now to block, you slide on all the way down to the farm that you wish to block. You can do this without adding them as well, by the way. It's both are good, but I wish it were permanent. And you click on the block one, tap it again. They're then removed to the block farms and placed down at the bottom. And there you go. Now you can unblock them if you wanted to, or you can leave them there for like one month and then they give the chance to re-add again. But like I said, I wish it were more permanent. Now, by the way, Titan West Gaming up there as well is definitely worth checking out their YouTube channel. Uh, they do do some heyday pop videos. So go show them some love if you're interested in learning more about the game and you've got maybe a tricky puzzle as well so there's a few of us that are making videos and that's great now I do have the number one down there that's showing and I don't know why uh, so I need to speak to the heyday team on that one I've gone to Greg remember go to Greg every day because he has goodies for you can't understand why the one is there which is in some ways annoying so oh dear on that side like I said I have to deal with the heyday team on that one I think but um, I, I'm doing very nicely. I, I'm pleased with the way that my farm is progressing. Right now, uh, we've collected those items. We've got orders to be done. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that from both of you helping me out there. You've also done some of my trucks as well again. So thank you letters coming out. Hopefully they contain some nice little thank you cards. And I appreciate that one as well. Having friends within the game is very important. Uh, if you are looking to increase your friends, you've got Facebook uh, and there is also the in-game friends. If you're looking to add more and more friends within the game, please do join like a Discord or join uh, the Heyday Forum or some of the Facebook groups out there. That'll give you more chance to add friends. If you come to my streams and you add your friends code in the streams, you can add a lot more friends as well. And as you can see, there's loads of people down here that have added me. I've got 180 of 250 at the moment, plus the one blocked as well. These are my Facebook friends and other social media friends, and these are the ones who are following me. So there are many options for interacting with people within the game. There's my code down there, PGY, JPR, etc, etc, etc. So you can check that one later. If you want to stop the request, you can do so. Yeah, but I'm going to allow the requests. I think receiving in-game for request is cool. I don't need to block it at this moment in time. Right, now, the coins have been done. Now, there's some carrots there I won't do because I don't have any carrots grown at the moment. I should really grow those before I do it. Uh, the loom is going to take another goodness knows how many hours, so I can ignore that one. Uh, bread's got to be done, so we're good on that one for the boat for later. Fishing event up and coming I can't participate in because I'm not high enough. And my hood has been created. You're welcome to request to join, but you probably will find I haven't won't you? let you. Right now remember there are the beautiful pink tickets. Those pink tickets allow you to watch an in-game advertisement and claim some wonderful prizes. I'm afraid you have to watch some ads if you haven't made an in-game purchase. Once you've made an in-game purchase you don't have to watch the advertisements uh, but you still get up to two rewards. If you haven't made an in-game purchase you can claim up to four rewards. So it is actually worth it. Now, I used to get loads of diamonds this way as well and that kind of like helped me many years ago to level up my main farm uh, and expand my production machines. Now it's a little bit different. 
right now. Oh, that is dumb. Okay, that one I said I'm going to trash because I don't have enough carrots. What's the point of using all of my carrots when I can't actually grow any? I need some more spaces down there, so we do that one another time. That one I can do. Five sugars is not a problem. Now I'll sell that one, send it on its way. Next one down there, we're trash because I don't have the resources. And good. I like the way things are moving along. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, now, if I come down to my shop, down in the bottom hand corner, uh, you'll see that I've got the ability to add some new items. There's trees down there, but I've already got plenty of apple trees, so I don't need to worry about that one. Decoration I'm not going to be concerned with. There are no more machines down there. You'll see I've got everything up to and including my level. For animal fields, there's more crop fields to be added, so I can do those ones now. So we're filling the missing blank there, add a few more in up to 30, which is very nice indeed. That will give me the chance to grow more crops, which is wonderful. There we go. One more. Perfect. Quickly go plant some wheat down there, I think, on those ones. Lovely. Maybe I should have done the carrots. All right. If I look at the animal pens, I can add more animal pens. Uh, like I said, at this stage of the game, I don't feel it's that important. Just because it's available doesn't mean you have to do it. Now, if I did add in animal pens, I've then got to add the animals, which is, again, more money. But this farm's only 7,578 gold coins. Uh, I've got sufficient animals down there providing me with crops. Now, maybe if I had another pig pen, I could have had five more bacon. I could have done my actual boat crate. Um, so there are swings and roundabouts to maybe not have enough resources versus having. So you need to think very clearly about that one. But for me, at this stage in the game, no, don't want it, don't need it, I'm good. And decorating, not really interested in doing either. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, well, that's my back to basics today. I've talked, I've opened, I've done a little bit of farming, and we've expanded where we can. You've seen that I've sold, and you've seen that I've progressed a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to have to say goodbye now, but I will see you in my next video or in my live streams on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you comment below and hit that beautiful like button. You've also got the chance to subscribe to my channel, and if you do, hit the bell notification. Right, 20 minutes of video. I will see you next time. Take care, have fun, and happy farming. Bye now.